to bake a sausage or ground chicken breakfast casserole. Let's get into it. First, you want to put about a tablespoon or so of oil in a pan, swirl it around so it coats it. Now for meats, you can use ground sausage if you'd like. Uh, if you are going to use sausage links, definitely take it out of the casing first. However, some of us are allergic to sausage, so I'm just using ground chicken. Regardless of whatever meat you'd like to use, feel free to season it with whatever you'd like. I'm going to use salt and pepper, onion powder and garlic powder, some Old Bay seasoning, and some red pepper flakes. Then you just want to cook it until it's fully browned and no longer pink. And of course, don't forget to break up your meat as you're cooking it. When your meat is no longer pink and brown, take it off the heat for it to cool down for a couple minutes. You also want to take out about two cups of frozen broccoli. You definitely want it thawed before you use it. Feel free to even cook it for a couple minutes just so it's fully thawed. But definitely let it cool down fully if you're going to cook it. You also want to have about a pound of hash browns thawed. However, I felt like using regular potatoes, so I have about four. You might need a little bit more depending on how many people you're going to feed. Um, for full potatoes like this, I actually pre-cooked mine a little bit just because they're not really hash browns. I fully cooked these and now I'm just letting them cool down before I dice them later. While things are cooling down and or thawing, I'm going to dice up one onion. And when you're done dicing your onion, we're just going to put it in a plate to the side for a minute until we're ready to use it. Next, in a large bowl, we're going to crack 12 eggs into. Careful not to get any shells in there. To our cracked eggs, we are going to add salt, pepper, and cayenne to taste. And lastly for now, add one cup of heavy cream to your eggs. Now you can take a whisk and beat these eggs by hand until everything is fully incorporated and all the eggs are fully broken down, but I'm going to use a hand mixer to make things easier. When your eggs are fully blended and well mixed, add your ground meat mixture. Add about a cup and a half of shredded cheese of choice. I'm using cheddar, but feel free to use whatever flavor you'd like. Add in your onions. Add your broccoli. If you're using thawed hash browns, add that in. But if you're like me and using regular potatoes, you want to dice them first. Dicing these is definitely going to be a whole lot easier when they are fully cooled down. I even suggest cooking these the night before and letting them cool down overnight. It'll just be so much easier. Add your diced potatoes to your bowl. When you've got everything in your bowl, carefully mix everything together until well combined. Spray a casserole dish with some Pam spray or oil or whatever you got. And carefully pour in your egg mixture into your casserole dish. Make sure your mixture is in one nice even layer. Spread about a half a cup to one more cup of shredded cheese of choice in one nice even layer on top. To prevent spilling, you might want to put it on a cookie sheet lined with tin foil, but otherwise, once you got your cheese on there, you want to bake this off at 350 degrees, starting off at 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, take your eggs out of the oven and assess the situation. If you are worried that your eggs are going to get too browned, it's at the top I mean, cover it with tin foil. Otherwise, if you're not worried about it browning too much, regardless, just put it back in the oven and bake for another 15 minutes. And after another 15 minutes, take it out of the oven, remove the tin foil if you chose to put it on and let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes just to cool down and settle. And when you're ready, serve and enjoy.